A lot of people find building drawers is a complicated process. There really doesn't have to be. There's a great joint called a lock rabbit. This simple joint to make has been around for more than 100 years and we've done tests that prove it's actually stronger than half-blind dovetails. So let's make it. One of the things I really like about this joint is it allows the front and back to be identical and the sides to be identical for every drawer. It's simply made by cutting a rabbit out of the front and back piece and a dado in the side pieces. And we do this all with one setup. I'm going to show you how to make this simple joint using a quarter inch dado blade in a table saw. It can just as easily be done using a quarter inch bit in your router table. The first thing we're going to do is set up to cut the dado in the end of each side part. To set our fence and blade in their proper orientation, I'm going to use a scrap of our same thickness material and draw the fence up until the surface of the board and the edge of the blade are flush. Then I'll lock the fence down. test the fit of the joint, I'll hold my two cuts together. As you can tell, this isn't quite working. The dado needs to be a little wider. To do that, I'll add a shim. Oh, that's better. Now that we have the width of cut set, now let's adjust our height. Now I'm going to make it a test rabbit in the end of a test of scrap block for a side. Now test your fit. As you can see, we now need to raise our blade just a touch to form the proper sized rabbit. And that's what we're after. Now we're going to form the rabbits on the front and back parts. We keep our blade set up the same and we add a one quarter inch thick spacer. We can make that shim from a variety of materials. Planing material to that perfect space between the blade and the fence is ideal, but we can also use scraps of plywood. I've found that with veneer plywood, it runs about 3 sixteenths of an inch. But typically MDF coarse quarter inch plywood fits almost perfectly. With the shim in place, we need to move our miter gauge extension. Here's a little trick to make sure your miter gauge extension goes on flat to the miter, miter gauge face. On the back side, remove any tear out or blow out from the screws you've driven with either a chisel or just a sharp utility knife. With the miter gauge in its slot and the debris removed, the miter gauge extension will, will sit flat.
that fits really nice. If maybe there was some debris underneath the board when we cut it, the rabbit may not be deep enough. I can simply take a piece of adhesive back sandpaper on a board and sand that rabbit just a little deeper until it fits like a glove. With all of our setup still the same, we can now cut the grooves to receive the bottoms. We'll cut a quarter inch groove, one quarter inch from the bottom. To do that, simply remove your spacer, remove the miter gauge, and make the cut. On the drawer sides, the groove goes on the same face where you cut your dados. But on the drawer fronts and backs, you'll actually be cutting on the opposite face from where you cut the rabbit before. One of the reasons we like to use Baltic birch plywood for drawer bottoms is it's very strong. The other thing, as it's very close to a quarter inch thick, it fits the grooves very well. If you use material that's less than a quarter of an inch, you may need to use a single pass on a regular saw blade, adjust the fence over to widen the groove, and then cut the second groove. The nice thing is, all our critical joinery is done with that initial setup and the drawer bottom, as long as we're consistent in where the groove is on all our sides and all our fronts, we're good to go. After cutting all of our joinery, I dry assembled a drawer and cut the bottom to size. Now, let's see how it goes together. I add the bottom to one of the sides, slip a front or back on, add the other one, Now I can add the second side. We've just done a one setup lock rabbit drawer.